Hello, today I'm going to show you some of the key features of Advanced ID Creator Enterprise Edition and I'll take a quick look at the main features. Now, if you need more information, please take a look at the remaining tutorials. Okay, assuming we run Advanced ID Creator for the first time, let us choose a template. For example, let's choose a student card. As you can see, we have a card face side and we have card backside. Now, we have a set of default fields like user ID, first name, last name, company name and so on. And be advised that each field corresponds to the same field in our data window like user ID, first name, last name and so on. Now, if you would like to have an extra field, like a customized field, you can do so by going to Add, choosing the type. For example, let's make a expiry date field. Choose a date type, type in the name. Press Save. And as you can see, you have expiry date field now. Now, if you would like to put that field anywhere on your card, you can do so by simply clicking on it and then dragging onto any side of the card. Okay, so we have expiry date. Now you can move it anywhere you want. Okay, since now we have our template, ready we would like to start adding our employees now we have two different ways of adding employees let's start with the data window as you can see I already pre-added a couple of employees and uh, I would like to add the fifth one so we go to add employee info user ID 005 And also notice that we have all sorts of different fields in here and if we don't need to use any field we can just turn it off by unchecking blood type and let's add a photo Now as you can see we have our fifth employer added. Now it's important to know that data window has two modes. We are currently working in design mode. This design mode is used for adding, editing, modifying employee information. Now we have another mode called data mode and if we switch to it as you can see we can actually preview each employee on our card. Lauren, Diana, James and so on. Now we have everything set and we would like to print our card. First of all we're gonna go to print preview and we have originally set it to portrait. Now if we need it in landscape we can change back to portrait and uh, we can fix our margins here I've already done so and also we can choose how many the number of cards we want to have across and down so let's say since we have five employees we would like to have number two across and three or two down let's say three okay now this window here shows us which employees we would like to print but before we have to choose this option here multiple employees per page ok 
OK. And we choose all. So all of our employees will be on the page. Now we press apply and then OK. And the system is going to generate print preview for us. Now, as you can see, we have our face side where we can see our five employees. And when we close it, system's going to generate the back side. OK, so we can see our back side. So if you like everything, you can just print it. Now, if you have any more questions about printing, you can visit our printing tutorial. Now, this concludes our short tutorial. And if you have any questions or something that you would like to know, you can always go to help section and press on help and it will take you straight to our user guide. Now, if you would like to talk to the technical support, you can click on contact technical support and it's going to lead you to our website where you can describe your question. Or you can always call us at one 888 Thank you and have a good day.